The US dollar has been the dominant global currency for decades, with many countries holding large reserves of US dollars as a way to ensure stability in their own economies. However, the 2008 financial crisis and subsequent economic turmoil in the US and other parts of the world have led some countries to question the stability of the global financial system and the long-term viability of the US dollar as a reserve currency. China and Russia in particular have expressed concerns over the dominance of the US dollar and have taken steps to reduce their dependence on it. China's President Xi Jinping traveled to Russia to meet Vladimir Putin on March 20th. While in Moscow, Xi said, Right now, there are changes, the likes of which we haven't seen for a hundred years. We are the ones driving these changes together. Putin replied, I agree. Yes, you heard that right. The two leaders discussed plans to deepen economic integration and both took aim at the hegemony of the US dollar. In recent years, China and Russia have been forging closer ties in a number of areas, including economic, political, and military cooperation. One area where both countries are on the same page is de-dollarization, reducing their dependence on the US dollar. China and Russia's efforts to de-dollarize their economies have been driven by a number of factors, including concerns over the stability of the global financial system, the long-term viability of the US dollar as a reserve currency, and the desire to reduce the influence of the US dollar on the global economy. Putin said on March 21st, it is important that our national currencies are increasingly used in bilateral trade. We should continue promoting settlements in national currencies and expand the reciprocal presence of financial and banking structures in our country's markets. China and Russia have been working to reduce their dependence on the US dollar by increasing the use of their own currencies in international trade. In 2014, China and Russia signed a deal to use their own currencies in bilateral trade rather than the US dollar. This move was seen as a significant step towards de-dollarization, as it reduced the need for both countries to hold large reserves of US dollars. In the first quarter of 2020, the dollar share of trade between Russia and China fell below 50% for the first time on record. Russia and China have drastically cut their use of the dollar in bilateral trade over the past several years. As late as 2015, approximately 90% of bilateral transactions were conducted in dollars. However, with the outbreak of the US-China trade war and a concerted push by both Moscow and Beijing to move away from the dollar, the figure had dropped to 51% by 2019. In 2019, China and Russia jointly set the goal of their bilateral trade, reaching $200 billion by 2024. The bilateral trade is expected to exceed $200 billion. This year, 2023, China and Russia are not only focusing on international trade, but are also working together to increase their gold reserves. Both countries have been buying up gold in recent years, with Russia becoming the world's largest buyer of gold in 2018. Gold has long been seen as a store of value and a hedge against inflation, and increasing gold reserves can help to reduce dependence on fiat currencies like the US dollar. But the reservation of gold and investments in international trade is not enough for China as it is planning something big. The CIPS and BRICs are also a part of their plan. What are CIPS and BRICs? China and Russia have continued to work together to increase the use of their own currencies in international trade. In 2019, China launched a new payment system, the Cross-Border Interbank Payment System, or CIPS, which allows for use of the Chinese yuan in cross-border transactions. Russia has also been working to increase the use of its own currency, the ruble, in international trade, including with the launch of the Moscow Exchange FX market in 2019. China and Russia's efforts to de-dollarize their economies have also been driven by a desire to reduce the influence of the United States on the global economy. Both countries have been critical of the US for its use of economic sanctions as a tool of foreign policy and have been working to create alternative financial institutions that are not dominated by the US. The BRICS New Development Bank was established by Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa as an alternative to the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, or IMF. In conclusion, China and Russia's efforts to de-dollarize their economies are driven by a number of factors, including concerns over the stability of the global financial system, the long-term viability of the US dollar as a reserve currency, and the desire to reduce the influence of the United States on the global economy. 
by working together to increase the use of their own currencies in international trade, increasing their gold reserves, and creating alternative financial institutions, China and Russia are taking significant steps toward reducing their dependence on the US dollar and increasing their economic independence. However, de-dollarization could provide benefits for China and Russia. It is not without risks and challenges. Both countries would need to continue to promote the use of their respective currencies and address issues such as inflation and financial stability to attract more international users. If you found this video informative and enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button as well. Thank you for watching.